Hi! Welcome to Meta Minutes, your bite-sized pieces of the Metaverse. My name is Rene from Valorum Reply. Well, and today we're going to recap season one of Meta Minutes. I have to say the first season here was pretty nice and super insightful and I learned a lot from all our amazing guests. And I hope the same was also true for you and you also learned as much as I did and it was a valuable time as it was for me. After we had episode one, which was just with me solo and without a guest, um, giving an introduction and overview to the Metaverse, uh, we had no one else than John Redoff for episode two. And John explained his famous seven layers of the Metaverse and the value chain. And we also visualized it nicely and in general, a nice episode. And definitely you want to see that as, just as you want to see all of the rest if you have not done yet, of course, right? Then we actually had our first episode, which was recorded in the Metaverse itself. So we talked about the Metaverse in a Metaverse platform. And I had the pleasure to interview my fellow MVP, Saskia Grünewegen, uh, in our beautiful Reply Solar World in Altspace VR. And we talked about the Global XR and the Metaverse community and um, super fun conversation. And again, it was inside the Metaverse platform. So you get a glimpse of that as well, of course. Episode 4 also was done in the Metaverse, but it brought us into yet another Metaverse platform. And I talked with Rahel Demand from XR Bootcamp in actually in their very own a Meta Horizon Workrooms room. And they use this actually internally for XR Bootcamp meetings, right? And so invited me to this one and we had a chat about XR Metaverse education but also about another very important topic near and dear to my heart, you know, about the diversity, which is still a massive problem in our industry. And so, let, folks, let's fix this, right? Tony Parisi then joined me for a talk about his also famous seven rules of the metaverse and the very much important topic of interoperability. Um, we'd also talked about his, his new role at Lamia One and in general about many other amazing things for example, VRML, like if you're old enough like me, you might remember that. And of course, Tony was one of the founders of that, right? Um, well, then we also chatted about the importance of, you know, these these uh, open um, standards. And right now we also have the Open Metaverse Standard Forum, right? And of course, this is a key element. And I'm glad to see that a lot of companies are participating in the Metaverse Standards Forum, which is driven by the Kronos Group. And so, yeah, Interop was a very important topic we chatted about. In episode six, we came back to our Reply Solar World in Altspace VR. So I interviewed my Reply colleague and spatial computing community of practice member Niels Christoph Hügemann in our Reply Solar World again in Altspace. And we talked about also a very important part because we, of course, were both avatars in this world. And we talked about virtual presence and digital humans and how important it is for our social and digital identity in the metaverse, right? And so we covered all facets of this, including also the societal aspects. And so good stuff to always keep in mind when you think about avatars and, and virtual humans, right? Then we had Sebastian Borger from Sandbox. And he talked with me about, of course, the Sandbox, that platform, and also in general, about decentralized metaverse and the benefits of it with web free, which again, of course, it has a lot of benefits. But of course, I also asked him about the controversy surrounding this topic of decentralization, right? With crypto blockchains and NFTs. And so make sure to check this out if you want to get some insights more about the, the decentralization in, in metaverse platforms and yeah, good stuff there. In episode eight, I had not one, but actually we had two guests. We had Anja Kielmann and Steffen Hück, and we covered the Metaverse Trend Sonar Report, which is a so-called quantified trend analysis. And so we talked about the method they used and they explained it very well to me. And so, you know, you understand really how this data for this report comes together and, you know, what kind of algorithms and what kind of technology is used there. Uh, but then, of course, we also talked about the findings for the Metaverse topics. And you can read all of that also in our Reply Trend Sonar report about the Metaverse. You can find on reply.com. Tori Smith then talked with me about the real world Metaverse and Niantic's approach to geolocalization, um, including the, the crowdsourcing of spatial data for their very own, you know, visual positioning system, the VPS. 
And uh, yeah, we talked quite a bit about the BPS in general, uh, you know, that are providing a more precise localization in the real world, which is for sure an essential piece if we want to make true metaverse experiences happen, where we're connecting the physical with the digital mirror world. Well, and now we're here with the summary of our very first Meta Minute season. Well, I, again, I hope you also enjoyed it as much as I did. And uh, I can tell you it's always a big pleasure to speak with all these famous and amazing people from the industry and, you know, to host these uh, fantastic guests and have some very insightful conversations. Well, of course, we're already thinking about season two, as you can imagine, and we want to hear from you. What kind of topics, um, what kind of feedback do you have? Send us the good and the bad feedback, of course. Um, that's the only way we can improve, right? And even more so, send us also any topics you would have in mind for another upcoming Meta Minutes episodes, right? Please reach out. Also, if you have a guest in mind, or maybe if you want to be a guest, all is fair, reach out and we can talk about it. So reach out on the various social media channels or send us a mail, whatever you prefer. And uh, yeah, I would love to hear what we should cover in season two. Well, thank you so much again for joining us for yet another episode of Meta Minutes, your bite-sized pieces of the Metaverse. Uh, please watch our blog, you know, follow our social media channel and subscribe to our YouTube, of course. And you will hear all about the upcoming episodes. And of course, on our website, you can always watch the previous ones and you will also get to know when we launch season two. Well, thank you so much. Take care and see you soon in the Metaverse.